Hi guys, welcome to the Jet East Tech YouTube channel. We have completed the fundamentals of Orchid Kittens Peace Pies and we are ready to demonstrate some additional circuit examples. And this is the first additional circuit example and we will keep showing those examples upcoming videos. Okay, let's get started. In this video, we will demonstrate an ideal transformer. Basically, a transformer is that changing the voltage value according to the field findings of primary and secondary sides. And there are different types of transformers in real life, but we will not give details about them. And for example, step up transformers increase the voltage value at outputs, and step down transformers decrease the voltage le level at outputs. Anyway, let's start. Okay. And by the way, Spice has no model for an ideal transformer, but it is not a problem. Um, we will have Sorry, we have an um, XFRM underscore linear in the analog library. Click P button to add a particle and write, sorry, type this this one. X, XFRM underscore um, linear, linear, linear. This is, yes. This is the thing to demonstrate uh, a a, a, an, an ideal transformer. And we will use this transformer. And let's build our circuit together. Okay. And after that, we need uh, three resistors and we need a sinusoidal voltage source. Okay, first of all, get your sinusoidal voltage source v -sin, by typing VSYN. Okay, put your sinusoidal voltage source here and click escape button. Okay, and now we will put some resistors to the project uh, by typing R to the part place and click enter. Okay, first resistor is here uh, and the second one is here and the third one is gonna be placed like that okay click escape button and let's let's wire our components each other okay take it to the left side uh, it will be better and bring your resistor to here and let's connect them okay by clicking uh, w button from your keyboard you can easily wire them the components okay i am wiring right now um follow my instructions okay Continue wiring. Okay, and okay. We will connect a resistor here. I will un I will tell you guys after that. Connection is finished. And put your ground ground value here in the circuit. Click S key and wire your ground here. Okay, our circuit is ready. Let's make it closer. Okay, click S key button. And let's give the values and offset voltage is 0 volt and amplitude of our sinusoidal voltage is 170 volt for this project and frequency is 60 hertz 60 hertz okay and now uh, okay first resistor is 10 ohm type 10 second resistor is 0 0.5 k ohm kilo ohm and this is our load this is our load and by the way, and the secondary circuit needs a DC connection to ground. And this can be done by adding a large resistor to ground. So I will give a value uh, which is so high value and I think it is 10 mega ohm is enough. 10 mega ohm. Um, it will help us in the DC connection to ground. Okay, our uh, the circuit is ready but I want to add node names. Okay, to add a node name click end button from your keyboard. Input escape and click again and an output out put your out note here escape there is just one thing and we can see the inductors inductor values and this is actually in uh, mutual there are there is two mutual inductors in the circuit this is not a transformer but we are gonna tr demonstrate our transformer uh, by showing two uh, two mutual inductors okay to see the mutual inductor values uh, click the right button and edit parts click edit parts and there will be a, a page a page is opening and we will uh, change the library values um, we will change something in the library okay you see um, l1 value l2 value and there is a button display property click display property name and value click and the second one come here display name and value okay after that take it here right side okay take it this one for here and l2 value is here and now what's 
we need to add the coupling factor sorry I'm sorry okay part properties and coupling and I want to show coupling value name and value and those are important values for this library uh, we have to update this okay after that when you uh, click the close button it will ask you that update current update all discard cancel ahead and you will you have to click update all and click yes click yes our library is updated now and you can see the values sorry and now coupling uh, factor is gonna be one uh, you have to uh, keep this coupling uh, factor value uh, as small as possible and uh, it should be near one um, you for example you can select 0 0.99 uh, it is a coupling factor too okay by the way uh, we have an, a formula we have a formula for transformers and the formula is that um, the primary windings over the secondary windings is equal to in the square root um, primary inductor value over secondary inductor value according to the, this formula we are gonna uh, select our inductor values okay, okay let's assume uh, our turn risk turn ratio is 10 for this project and when the turn ratio is uh, 10 we have to uh, calculate it and according to my cal calculations the values is the values are gonna be um, 2000 Henry for the primary windings and 20 20 Henry for the secondary windings according to these values uh, when we uh, give 170 volts to the input sides and we will get in the output side 17 volts and this is step down transformer configuration everything is ready uh, we are ready to create a new simulation profile okay create a new simulation profile and give a name it to uh, maybe ACE one because this is additional circuit uh, example one and create it p spice a and d uh, we will do a transient analysis and because we are trying to see uh, our output voltage value uh, by time and it will be time domain transients and uh, I want to show my uh, my graph for maybe 60 milliseconds is enough and maximum step size right type here 0 0.001 okay apply and okay everything is ready we are now ready to run our simulation by clicking F11 or by clicking run button from here up the to toolbar you can run your uh, simulation okay simulation is coming now okay as you see there is nothing in the graph but we will add some traces to show uh, the things what is happening in the graph in the project I will try to I'm I, I'm, uh, I'm gonna show we in and we out in the same graph okay this is our graph and what is telling this graph to us and to understand this it I will use a cursor cursor what is cursor and by using a cursor you can you can see uh, the voltage value is wherever you want for example in the in this place what is the voltage value for green one and the red one and we can easily see that uh, we input is 170 167 volt and something and we are the 16.786 volts and we understand that input is 170 volt output is 17 volts and this is step down transformer and now we analyzed the, uh, the ideal transformer in the by using the pspice program and that's it for today if you like this project and don't forget to be my subscriber and uh, share with the, share this video with your friends thank you very much see you in the uh, another tutorials okay bye bye